Hello everyone. Okay, what am I doing? There I am. I'm doing another drawing of a big butch machine here. Uh, how will I do this one? I guess I'll do it the same old way that I've been doing it before. Color fill drab, olive drab. This particular machine is a new one on our little scene here. Um, and unlike the yellow ones that we had, this is all dirty and dusty and grimy and, well, it's mainly dusty. So it's all shades of of blech. I think I think blech is exactly the right term for this machine. It looks like it's a, a big auger. Now, you, many of you already know that I don't know what the machine machines are called or parts of the machines are called, but this looks like it drills big holes into the into the ground. And the thing I'm drawing now that looks like a snake is actually this rubber covered hydraulic system, I think. And there's another rubber covered thing here. And a pulley. Everything is just dusty and covered with dried caked mud. So it's really quite neat compared to the bright things that I have been drawing. Okay, 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 I lied. This is, does have a little bit of yellow right there. Except it's it's a little lighter and maybe a tad brighter than that. There, yellow. Oh, and it has a little bit of orange right here. that's really all of the color I see. There's a little bit of light whitish metal there, but everything else is essentially what you already see. Shades of blech with a couple of areas of darker blech and lighter blech. There's almost a slight orangey blech over here. Just, it's just so slight that it hardly is noticeable. It has a number uh, spray painted or something onto the side of this thing. The thing at the far right is the auger drill bit digs down into the mud. So it's hollow. And here's, you can see through that little hole there, one of its mud-covered uh, ends of the screw that drills down into the, into the mud. So it's, the drawing is not going to be much more exciting than you see right now. It's just going to have more details. I may later do a drawing of a, other parts of this thing. It's, it's really uh, an interesting machine. I wish you all could see it. There's a, a book I read 
years ago called Against Nature. And um, the author is, and it was the uh, inspiration for Oscar Wilde's import, uh, picture of Dorian Gray. And it sort of describes this very sophisticated man who is bored with life and how he, he he tries to do things that sort of will interest him but he's never remains interested too long and he I think he ends up killing himself at the end though I can't remember so it's not quite a spoiler alert but anyway um, <clears throat> one of the things he describes in this book is his, or the author describes his protagonist as saying is that um, he finds the locomotive on the track at the station in Paris or wherever it is to be more beautiful than, you know, the most beautiful flower or it even, he could, might have even talked about pieces of art he found the locomotive to be more beautiful than the than the art. And looking at this, I can, I, if he were here alive today, if he hadn't killed himself or whatever happened to him in the book, he might look at this and have that same view um, because it really is quite stunningly is stunningly beautiful. I think that might be pushing it a bit, but it's really quite a bit more interesting than a picture of a flower. And after all, you know, what are flowers anyway? They're just the sex organs of plants, so it's like, how beautiful can they be? And write your answers below. beautiful can flowers be compared to this mud encrusted right in this area where I'm zooming in now is what I will draw a close-up of next it's really neat it's just this gob of it looks like how I would have repaired my vacuum cleaner cord after my vacuum cleaner cord was accidentally put in my garbage disposal or something. It's just duct tape on top of duct tape on top of... I mean, that's what it looks like. I'm sure that this there's special kind of tape on this thing that will make it last long and make this machine work. But this is... This is a very sloppy machine. Um, you know, there are sometimes you, you go to construction sites and it's clear that they have someone on the payroll that just washes the tractors after the engagement and they look like they came right off the factory. And then there's the guy that owns this one who doesn't care what it looks like because he's digging a hole. You know, I was sitting on the couch for quite a long part of the day not realizing that this was out here. And had I known, I would have been out here long ago drawing this, because this is really neat. Come on. Oh, 
Um, there's more <clears throat> structure to what I'm drawing than what I'm conveying here. And how can I convey that better? I wonder. I think there's more. There's the, the dark areas are a little bit darker, maybe. One of the things that happens when you draw outside using these iPad products is you really can't tell what things are going to look like when you get inside and see them. Right now the sun is very blaring. What I should do is get a umbrella that I can put on my head and or one of those curtains that photographers that the, in the olden days used to shield the sun. I'm going to just move my point of view just a little bit to the side here. So. this area right here that I'm working on that I'm going to soon draw a close-up of one of the first close-ups I will do because this is the cool the coolest area of duct tape and ace bandages and who knows what all is in this mess. Well, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm impatient, I'm going to do that right now. I'll go to the new one, color fill black, and we'll keep going here. So I'm going to do a close-up of just that area there. And here's the vertically, but that's okay. Maybe I'll do even a, a different close-up later. Many of you have heard me before talk about how difficult it is to draw pretty things and how much easier it is to draw ugly things. And here's, I hope, an example of that because no one would ever think that what I'm drawing is a beautiful thing. And because it's not a beautiful thing, there's really nowhere to go but up. You can't you can't you can't make it as ugly as the real thing. Now here I'm just I'm disagreeing with Hoismans, <coughs> the author of the book called Against Nature, because he would say that the or the protagonist would say that this was more beautiful than a flower, but it's tough when you when you're asked to do something that's beautiful and to make it look the way they meaning your client or whoever wants it to look like, as beautiful as they want. I love
lost my train of thought, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so here's sort of gray tape, and it's covering all sorts of black rubber hoses and stuff, but they're all, all the black rubber hoses and stuff are caked with mud and dirt and grime, so everything is... That's the underside of the tape I just drew. And down here, get a little bit more beige going on here. Beige. We've got tube tubes inside of tape sort of things that are going around it. Some big black hose coming out of that thing, whatever that is. Okay. These are these are sort of knobs, but then here there are things that some of these hydraulic hoses are connected to. There's some springy thingy coming down here. Exit stage left. Go back to the main event here, this this little area here that has a little stain right there. Let's draw some more of this. I looked at some of the drawings I did yesterday in, in the studio and the things that I thought I was drawing in an orange color were almost cherry red. So if these things don't seem to be as blech-y as you think they should be based on my description, it's probably because I I'm not no. I'm not seeing them correctly because I'm in the daylight. Yep, it looks just like how I would repair something after it went down my garbage disposal. Okay, uh, what else do I need to do on this one? Behind the 
this stuff is some more of that color. Look at that. That's pretty, pretty grim. What have I forgotten? Okay, now I'm going to pick a different area. New one, color fill black. I'm going to look slightly up at this machine. And here we have all of those things that were taped together that I just drew. All those hoses come up and meet at this box, which for lack of a better term I will call a junction box, even though that sounds more electrical than hydraulic. And there are areas here where the metal, by accident, just by accident, mind you, is clean and devoid of blech. But that certainly wasn't part of the owner of this truck's intention was to have these things be clean because nothing else is. Sort of right about here, you see the brightest area on the entire drawing, which is the part of the piston in the background. Okay. Underneath here we've got these tubes coming down wrapped in this big rubber rubber band kind of thing, which you also see on the other side going up. And then you've got this big black, well, muddy black, supposed to be a black sheathy thing that goes up there. And then you've got, oh, what do you know? Blue sky. That's for reference, just so you can tell that this is not a black and white picture. And here's part of the bridge under which I stand and under which this contraption is sleeping. To the right, of this is a big red, this is part of the drill or, or whatever this is, auger thing, encasing bit that holds the drill. Not surprisingly, it is also rather dirty. There is an area of this that the light is hitting more directly. and other such like going behind it and around it. To add those screws, there's a chain hanging down. snood or 
of this condom, this thing that is holding the all of the hoses that go up to the hydraulic system. too bright, but I'm leaving it there anyway. You no, know, you know, it's kind of too bright. Let's just pretend that the owner accidentally washed that little bit down here at the bottom. Oh, there's little tubes and stuff, wires coming down and flipping around. And this one is connected to a hose that sort of does that. It's too big. This hose is slightly color-coded. So we can see what it's supposed to be by there's this little red stripe going on it. bit of blue sky. Happen in there. Okay. I like that one. Let's do another. Let's fix this chain now. This chain is bothering me. better. There's a lot more stuff that I'm leaving out here, which maybe I shouldn't leave out. Down here there's a... in the depths of the dark there's another thing with bolts in it, and then there's another one coming down here that has a bolt in it. And a little red thing here, a little tiny red thing up there. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. Because they're full of black.
This is really cool. I just saw something neat that looks like it's a, this thing. Looks like it has a girdle. Come on. Looks like it has a corset right here. Isn't it cool? Why, is, why isn't everyone out here drawing this? This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it's kind of um, goth, for sure. What's what? Gothic. Well, it's, it's, I mean, this is what dinosaurs were like back in the olden days, except they ate people. Or, <laughs> <laughs> but the, they're, they're drilling, but it's so neat. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's you know that I'm a nut. No. So there's the the business end of this machine is sort of below this. It's being this is the Thing that keeps it all together. There are these little bolts here holding it down there. Those little bolts here. This is what reminds me of a corset, is this little bit up here. walking by here. And she she uh, lives on the ground floor of the face of the building that's been getting an awful lot of noise recently with all of this construction. So she, among her neighbors on this side of the building, have a healthy hatred of these machines, I think, whereas I, being on my side of the building, don't have the trauma yet. But I will. It's going to come to me on my side pretty soon. standing out in the middle of the street to get this view, so hopefully cars will see me before they run into me. Okay, where's the blush? The blushy color is over here. go from there into this little, I don't know what this is called, cowling, no, into this intake area up here. Of course it could be an outtake area. What do I know? Maybe it's both. Maybe it breathes in and out like one's lungs.
Okay. Here's that pesky chain, these bolts. The chain comes down here like this. And then down here there are more bolted bits. And then over here, to the left of it, is more of this. thinking, thinking and looking, I'm trying to, and up here, we have one of these tubes of bound hydraulic cable uh, hoses or whatever they are going there, and then finally we've got some of the, the bridge that I think it's great. Why aren't... <laughs> or go to the center of the earth. It's just, I don't know, why aren't our neighbors out here drawing this thing? Do they, do they know something I don't know? Do they... Do It's just, this is really cool, though, I think. I think. Oh, fine. Do. Don't mind at all. No, no, you don't have to. Not everything. Not, no, you don't need to do everything. But um, I'll make a list of things you can show and things you, you daren't. Unless you want to hear from my lawyer or the National Enquirer. Burr. Did they duel? Did they duel? Yeah, they were the duelers, I think. They certainly did. See you later. Well, he's someone who also seems to like this machinery. I think I'm gonna, I'm pretty much gonna stop this one for the moment just because I wanna start another one. This is so cool. The there's bolts, and then there's, there's silver bolts on the outside, and then red bolts painted on the inner part of that. For some reason, the the screws, bolt heads on this thing are shiny. The owner has not let them rust.
as he would want to do.